Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be reviewing an amazing piece of software known as Arial Lord. So the LOD behind this simply means level of detail, which you're definitely going to find out. And this tool is made available by an amazing company known as F Tracy. And F Tracy are the company or the guys behind the Magica Voxel. So just in case you've not seen that software, you've not seen that tool before, yeah, a review about that tool is about to come. But today we're going to be reviewing the area lot or the area LOD. And we'll talk about everything that you need to know from start to finish, how you can get your project started or how you can actually work with the entire thing that exists there. There's a couple of things that we like. One other thing to bear in mind is for the level of work that they've actually put into the software that is the very first version, it is really, really commendable. So without further ado, let's get right into this and talk about how you can start working with Arial LOD. So this software is so cool that you can literally just go in there and grab your PNG file or grab whatever height map that you have and throw it directly inside here. So you can bring in things like the, uh, the ASC files, the digital terrain files right inside here and you can use them for whatever thing that you want. And for those asking what ASC files are, our ASC files are basically action scripts, our communication files. So you can basically use ASC files for things that has to do with, you know, uh, checking out how the geographical topology of a place is. And just think about it like CSV files when, uh, I mean, coming from a 3D app. The crazy thing about this one is you can get whatever height map that you're working with from any software whatsoever. And you can visualize that, you know, that height map here. So whether you're working with a displacement map, you're working with a height map, you can just throw it in here and see how it looks. So there's just a whole lot of crazy things that you can find with this. So we're going to review this software today and we're going to take a very close look at some things which we think they should have done and some other cool stuff that they have done that are really, really amazing. So first things first, we're going to talk about how you can get this thing here. So before we talk about that, how do you navigate? This is everything you need to know about this window. There is no magic trick attached to this right now. So how you move around this is very simple. You do not need a keyboard to move around this unless you're actually working in the free mode that has to do with you moving the, uh, you know, moving around the scene with the WASD. So for you to move around here, you just need your middle mouse button to simply pan. All right. So you press and hold to pan and you use the right click to rotate or, or beat around this. And, you know, you can literally zoom in and zoom out by using the i mean the middle mouse button all right so you can do all of that stuff and you can literally see that when you get up close that the same technology that they use for the magica voxel which is basically using 8-bit voxel meshes to actually generate this and this is really cool i mean up close this looks interesting and very beautiful i know a lot of people would say why not go over to another 3d application that can automatically generate this it would be cool but the feeling would not be the same it cannot be the same baby so that's i think that's the, like the ring the main main reason why you need to actually use this app to get this done so let's get about how you can get this here so if you come over to this section here so right here here all right if you click here you will be able to select from you know the uh the png files that you have that are actually height maps and you can load them right in and now there are three different kinds of height maps that you can load in so the very first one has to do with one bit height map and you can also go ahead and load up, uh, you know, multiple bits, which is two bits. And then you can also load up a four bit or four bytes or four bytes. Yeah. So you can go ahead and load them directly in here and you can go through and change how you want things to look. So if you want to change the offset, isn't this so cool? Just imagine, you know, the crazy things that you can do with this. So you can go ahead and change the offset crazy. And at the same time, you can still come through. And you know, you can just simply change the steps value and you can also change the level of details that you can get. So we can move from, this is incredible guys. I mean, you can move from this to this. Someone better tell me that this is procedural because right now I kind of like what I'm seeing. Yeah, so you can move from this. This is so sweet. I can literally see a whole lot of things that you may want to use this for. So for game developers, this could come in as an idea for building some very crazy terrains that you may want, you know, your characters to jump, 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 jump to get something done. And this is so, so sweet. I love this. I really love this. 
So let's just go ahead and turn this back to zero so that we can have a high level of detail. And at the same time, if you want to scale this, you want to make it bigger. All right, all right, all right. They want, okay, okay. So it can be bigger. It could be smaller. You know, we like them big and that's what we'll do here. So we're just going to have this as good as it is. So with this happening here, you can literally check out the base. All right. So you can check out the base, change the tone at which you want the color of the base to be, you know. So we just want it to be like this and we're going to leave it there. So enough of this section, let's go over to this section and talk about lighting. So once you're doing this, there is definitely something you notice over time that to every change that we make, you're going to notice this bar traveling through. So what is happening is because this tool right here is an interactive path tracing. First of all, this tool is free so you can get it. And next it is interactive. I mean, think about that. So interactive means you can stop it. All right. That's what we're talking about here. And right about here, you can go through and literally change what kind of lighting that you want. Right now, the lighting that we are making use of is our skylight. So you can change the color of the skylight. Say, all right. You want it to be a little bit. Okay. Okay. You can increase the intensity. All right. All right. At the same time, you can throw in a bit of fog and be like, yeah, you know, I kind of like a little bit of fog. Yeah. So some fog for you. Okay. You like fogs. Let's go there. And you can make the fogs white. You can choose to change the color of the fog, change the density of the fog, whatever you want. As far as it floats your boat, makes you sleep well at night. These guys, they have it all figured out. So next thing we need to do is to come through and look at sun. So you can also choose to, you know, light this by using the sun. So let's take this off and turn on the sun. And when you turn on the sun, you can change what angle you want and you can increase the intensity of the sun. So we have it from here and we can go in here and, you know, literally change where the sun comes from. And you can see the very cool stuff. I just love this program. I got to tell you, I mean, there are things I don't like about the program. Don't get me wrong. I'm not kind of advertising everything here, but I got to tell you for the ones that works, it makes sense. Okay. So. Now you've seen the sun, you like the sun. Now let's go back to, you know, talking about the sky. So here we already established the fact that you can have a uniform lighting happening there. And if you come over here, you can use atmospheric scattering. So you see some cool stuff is going on here, right? Or you can choose to use an image based lighting, crazy stuff. So depending on the image you want to use, you can choose to use any HDR that you have and just throw it in here and get some very cool results happening for you. I love this so much, but I think we'll just go ahead and stick with this white stuff. I kind of like the white one. Well, okay. So with this here, you can see it's not rendering because we kind of stopped it from rendering. So let's move over to the second section and talk about bounces. We like samples a lot. So the samples that exist here is samples that you can use to actually get a cleaner render. So you know how you can increase the amount of the fuse sample, the amount of energy sample that deals with light. Yeah, you can do all of that thing here. So you can increase the samples that you want. You can see our, our stuff is going all white mode on us. So let's go back and start turning some things down because it's a little bit too much with the fog. So I'm just gonna turn this down to about two. And if I go all the way back, you start noticing a couple of changes. So if I don't like the shadows, I can turn off the shadow and say, you know what? We don't like shadows around here. At the same time, if you don't like how crispy clean this is, you can turn on the anti-aliasing and you can see we're beginning to get those amazing, you know, not so look, not so amazing result actually. So you can turn off all of these things and I can turn them back on. So this section is officially closed. Moving on to the next one. So. Within here, you can change the background that you want, the color of the background, uh, whatever you want directly from here. You can notice what color we have here as the ground. You can change all of that. We already have a base color, so that base color is very cool. And the base color actually deals with the color that you have on these objects here. So you can make all of those changes that you want. So with all of these changes happening here, cool stuff. You guys will be saying, so give us the magic. What happens? How do you get this thing out? Oh, I, I gotta tell you, you should wait for a bit because if you come over to the free, you can choose to move in different fonts. So, you know, I talked about the WASD. So now you can press W to travel right inside here. You can also go ahead and press D to travel left. 
A to travel right, depending on how you're watching this, okay? And uh, S to go backwards and, you know, a W to go forward. Now, there's something I really wish they had. Speaking about lighting, what I wish they had was I really wish they had like those very small point lights that you can hide in some places and get things to work. To me, that would have, you know, made some sense. I could have loved that a little bit more. And yeah, that would have made sense for me. I really wish I had that. Autographic view works perfectly fine. You can look at everything in various sides. And if you're not comfortable with looking at things in that same side, you can get a view cube. And if you press whatever button you want, you know, whatever view you're looking for, you can get that there. You can also check out the ISO and see how things work and how things are panning. If you're working with the ISO, I just love this terrain look. I love it. So if I move over to this uh, point and stay within the free, or I mean within perspective, you can now see what we have here. I still think we have a little bit of uh, fog. The fog seems to be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to have that set to one. All right, so I'm just gonna have that set to one and let's just tint this a little bit. So with this tint looking stuff, I'm just also going to let me tone this down. I think it's a little, bit, a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to tone this. I mean, it's too bright. So I'm just turning that down just a little bit. And yeah, so we have this going for us. So if you want to increase, reduce the size of the entire thing, all of the sizes work here. So if you want to make it like a square size, a 1080 by 1080, you know, you press enter, you get 1080 by 1080. Instagram, where are you? Because you have this now. But if you want to get this like a full uh 1920 by 1080 you have that there this right here is the amount of sample per pixel that you want so the sample per pixel actually travels from 512 all the way up all right so from 512 all the way up this is something that you would like to work with now that we're done with that let's move on to talking about this if you want to re you know if you want to actually reset the entire thing you want to frame to the view you can use this button right here and if you want to actually check check out the rulers that you have here, you can also use these rulers. If you slide all the way up and down, you can literally use this to control how the camera looks. So I, I don't know. I think simulation guys will actually like this a lot. Now, if you move to the camera, within the camera, you can actually increase aperture depending on what you're doing. So you can increase the aperture depending on what you're doing. You can also increase the blades and these blades would work really good if you're working with uh, depth of field. Okay. And at the same time, you can increase the FOV. So at this point, you can choose the amount of how you want the lens of the camera to look at this. So we can make it 50, you can make it 75, depending on what you're looking for. If you want to get like a 35 millimeter or 35 millimeter camera, then of course you can enter that value there. And this is how much focus you want. I think we should just drop this back to 45 or something. So uh, for the focus, you can increase the focus and you can see we're having no focus happening and you can tone this all the way down and you can get that happening and at the same time you can also notice that we have an a c e s directly here so which simply means that you get more like a photorealistic kind of lighting when you choose to use the exposure from here so if i start increasing the exposure you can notice how much exposure i have so that's why i actually went down there to tone this down all right so i can now use the exposure to increase how much light that comes directly in here and now we can also throw in a very simple vignette and how beautiful is this and you know get that cool instagram looking picture and you can have that now there is also a bloom which you can use if you move over to this section you now end up rendering so for the render, there is just something about this rendering that I kind of like and I don't like. I really wish that within this section, when you're doing the whole rendering thing, yes, you can do a simple turntable, which is super cool and super clean. And at the same time, you can also go ahead and render a still photo. But I really wish you could actually export this thing out. The fact that you cannot export this thing out I'm not talking about the whole finessing thing about the colors and cool stuff if you cannot export this as a 3d object out it kind of doesn't really tie up together for me because i like the software in as much as i really love the software 
uh, what throws me a bit off is the fact that you cannot export it out. And I think it's actually something that is very, very uh, necessary for them to have. Using height map is really cool. Creating, you know, satellite and synthetic data is very, very cool. And I just really wish that there was a way that you can export this thing out. Second thing which I wish that they had is within the time where you can play with the feel of this, if it was possible for you to throw in a texture, it would really, really be cool, right? It would really, really be cool if there was a way you can throw in a simple texture and get things working. For me, it could have made a lot of sense. Other things I also think that they have, you know, maybe they should have done, is if there was also another way that you can literally get this out of here or maybe you can you know scribble some stuff directly from here and generate your own kind of map it would have really made a lot of sense i mean these are my own feedbacks and things which i felt that it would have done but all in all this is a very amazing piece of software that you can use for almost uh anything that has to do with rendering height maps but i just wish that they add this uh features to this uh, later so from here you can go ahead and render this out so depending on what you want you can choose to render a turntable and then of course you're going to be able to have this turntable working with the noise feature here if you're done rendering this stuff you can have the denoising thing happening all right so you can just throw in a simple denoise and you can have that happening directly there and here is the console window and i mean that's about it so these are my feedback for them and I really wish that they can go ahead and actually get this done. But for the main software itself, it works and it works really, really perfect. And I kind of like it and I really, really wish that they can go in there and, you know, make changes. Actually, there is a whole lot of changes that would be coming to the software over time because this is their official 0.00, .00 release. So there is just a whole lot of things that you should be expecting when, you know, the first one comes out or the second one comes out. This is the very first release and it comes with these features. I mean, let's give them a break. There's a whole lot of things that they do come out with and it makes a lot of sense to, you know, go and use it. So I would suggest you go get this tool, play with it, try it and see what works. And if you have questions you want us to talk about, also go ahead and drop them in the comment section. And if you like this video or you learned something from it, go ahead and hit like and don't forget to turn on the notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.